All right, today we're gonna to make our topographical color map here, and you can see what the final product will look like. Today we're going to do the watercolor portion, so it will end up looking a little bit like this. You can see how it goes from one color smoothly to another, and it kind of winds around the page. That's the effect we're going for. All right, I have my watercolor paper, water, I've got a pencil, my paints, I've got a sample color strip, a paper towel, and a nice watercolor brush. Um, these are very fancy, uh, brushes pretty new, so I'm going to ask that you don't play with them, that's bad for the bristles, and that we never leave them face down in the water, that's also bad for the bristles. When you're done, just kind of brush it off and leave it across your water container like that. Nice big thing of clean water, I've got my name on my paper, okay. and we're going to be using the side of the paper that's a tiny bit rougher, it doesn't really matter, but if you can find the slightly rougher side, that's better. Okay, looking over here at my watercolor example strip, I can see that it starts with red, moves to yellow, goes to blue, and then restarts at red. That's the pattern we're gonna go for today. I'm going to rinse my brush in my water so it's got some water in it and it's very clean. And then come in here with my first color, which is red. Make sure I've got some soupy color on there and make a little shape like that. Rinse my brush, go in for my second color, which is yellow, and then leaving a space between them, I'm going to put my second color there, right? Rinse my brush, go in for my third color, which is blue, nice and soupy, leave a space, and do a shape. Now, before I go into the next section, I need to blend these colors. So I'm going to rinse my brush very well, wipe it if I need to, and go back, and with a, a damp, clean brush, I'm gonna pull those two colors together. They should start to mix and make my secondary color, which is orange. Rinsing my brush, doing the same thing here. Mix and make my secondary color, which in this case is green. All right, now we're gonna rinse our brush and repeat the process. Our first color was red, so with a nice clean soupy brush, skipping a spot, putting in our red. Rinse my brush, second color is yellow, skipping a spot, do yellow. You may need to get clean water after your second set, but it should be fine for those first two sets. Make sure you skip a spot between. All right, rinse your brush. With a clean, wet brush, go in and pull those two together. Notice I'm not really stirring, I'm just connecting and letting the water do the mixing. Come in here for the second set, pull those together. Third set, pull those together. When I reach the corner here, I'm going to scoot down. I want this to wind around like a snake, so I'll bring my color over here. Go in for the next color. Leave a little space. Go in for the third color. And then I can begin connecting them. Okay.